Well today a little quick bonus video uh, to look at two uh, limited edition 4k blu-rays that I uh, received today. Uh, <clears throat> so these were released um, sort of midway through last year. It was a HMV exclusive um, but almost immediately sold out on their online store. So I thought oh miss them. Um, but then they did a, a Boxing Day New Year's type sale on their website and lo and behold they're listed again at half the price they were uh, when they first came out so I'm presuming all the store all the stock went out to stores so online sold out and then they obviously didn't sell in the stores so they were sent back and then that's the way they're available online but uh, be worth checking to see if they're still available uh, if you fancy them so these are 4k blu-ray releases of Mad Max and Mad Max 2, as they call it, the Road Warrior, um, and they're lim they were limited edition. I don't know how many they're limited to. It might tell us inside, but it just says limited edition. They were exclusive to HMV. I think you could get a, a bo 4K box set of the discs in a different sort of case, but these ones, this, the ones with the uh, posters and art cards are limited, so you can see limited HMV, Cine Edition, which is their HMV's sort of prestige, a bit like the old Criterion Laserdisc used to be. Um, so it basically tells us about the story. Cine Edition includes film in 4K, Ultra HD, and Blu ray, and it's all been remastered or re. Uh, redone so it'd be interesting to see what the quality is like uh film in 4k theatrical poster reproduction four art cards um looks like the only extra on this particular one is the trailer so no making of so anything um but road warrior very cinema poster and very same sort of packaging for the cine edition so this one actually comes with a commentary by george miller and dean semler uh, an introduction by Leonard Moulton and a exclusive to this disc I think it says on 4k disc only but it might be just that it's not on the blu-ray Road War the making of the Road Warrior and then on the blu-ray you've got the theatrical trailer which isn't on the ultra which is strange uh, 91 minutes 93 minutes so standard so what we're going to do is we'll have a look see what the extras are like So, very nice, glossy, heavy cardstock slipcase. Um, what's on the back and under? It's glued on, which is really annoying. Uh, suicide machine. <laughs> Let's have a look. So, you get the 4K. I'm not so sure on the artwork they're using for the discs. It's not the greatest Mel Gibson artwork. So you get the standard Blu-ray and 4K. Uh, and it looks like, yep, exactly the same on the back as on the piece of paper on the slipcase. And this, you get a I'm a fuel injected suicide machine. That's what's under there as well. So, can I open this without destroying it? Yes. So, we get, let's have a look at the art cards first. So, you get the uh, Toka Gang attacking the uh, town floozy and her boyfriend's car. Wow, that looks like a picture taken off of a TV screen. You're telling me they couldn't get a better image than that? I wonder if these are taken off of a cinema screen or something. I mean, they're, they're very nice, but they're not exactly sharp. Oh, that's a promo image. So I wonder if they were taken off. It'd be interesting to see if Mad Max 2... Oh, they're double-sided as well. Well, that one isn't. These are double-sided, so you've got... These are like huge bubblegum cards. I actually prefer the matte side to them. 
That's one of the old um, front of house stills. A little art cards, and then you also get a poster. How big is it going to be? A3, I reckon. Yep. A3 Mad Max poster. Ah, I do like that one. That's one of my favourite posters. I got that on the Japanese um, uh, <coughs> cinema book. That's good. They don't say they're double sided, but that's, that's good. Little double sided posters. Let's have a look at. Road Warrior. I wonder what's under the back on this one. Is there another quote? There is, but I can't see what it is, but I'm hoping. You want to get out of here? You talk to me. We'll look at the disc. So much better artwork. Looks much more like uh, Mel. Again, just standard discs inside. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Will they be the same type of shot? So let's look at the poster first. Hopefully double sided. So you got the, I think that was like the UK one. Although we, I think we got both in the UK. Probably called Mad Max 2. Yeah, we definitely had that one. I remember that one, a double bill poster. I do prefer that poster, I think. That's two good posters. Let's have a look at the art cards. Glossy side first. Lovely shot of Max by the uh, <coughs> pardon me by the van. Let's have a look at the back side. Oh, it's an unusual shot. Car needs polish. <laughs> He's angry. Humongous. We've got uh, George Miller. Oh, look, that's obviously one of the protective camera units. I'm presuming they must have had a few wiped out. So I think the art cards in Mad Max 2 are much nicer than the ones in Mad Max, which is a shame. Um, but they are, I suppose, extra. So yeah, if you want to... These were on, in their sale at, I think, 17 quid each, which I think is not bad for 4K. Um, I'm going to have to check the Blu-rays. I think there's extras on the <coughs> the triple pack I've got, so I'll probably have to keep both sets. Typical. And I need to keep an eye out for Mad Max 3, because i got Fury Road in 4K. Uh, so yeah, if you be worth checking the HMV's site, if you fancy these. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching. It was just a little quick one, this. Just a little uh, review. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks, then. Bye.